All right, so here we have Gig Performer now from Plugin Alliance. And what is Gig Performer? Well, it's a rack space, a, a host, if you will, uh, to host your plugins without a DAW. So you can run your plugins essentially in standalone. And what that basically allows you to do is use your plugins in a live situation, very low latency, basically using your computer like a dedicated DSP unit. And as you can see in here, we've chained together a bunch of different plugins, you know, our, our guitar amp, as you saw at the beginning, uh, here's a console, whatever. And I could use this live, very low latency. And as you also saw in that little guitar section, I was able to switch our different rack spaces here, different presets here, and there was no dropout in sound. So that makes it very, very useful uh, for live. Okay. Now there's a lot to this program. I'm not going to go through everything. This is just sort of a, uh, you know, or a quick look, a quick look at it. Uh, but there are two versions of this. There's the, what's called the plugin Alliance version or the mega version. And in the mega version uh, that you get with the mega bundle, uh, you can only run plugin Alliance plugins. Okay. You can't run waves or isotope or whatever. Now there is an unlocked version. And in that version, you can load whatever plugins you want, whatever third party plugins that you want. And of course, use those live as well. If you have the mega bundle, you get a good chunk of change. Uh, cut off that price, or of course, you can always just buy it outright. So let's look at it real quick. You know, it's just an example of something you could do. We already saw guitar, you know, we could load up things like this, but let's go, let's just do something uh, new here. We'll see a new gig. Uh, I don't need to save that. And here's a bunch of presets. So acoustic guitar, bass, even keyboards. So things like your synthesizers, you could do a drum program, easy drummer, BFD three, superior, whatever you happen to have. If you have an electronic kit that you want to play live, for example, you could load that up in here again, very low latency, obviously vocals. So you could have your own vocal chain all set up in here. This is also useful for podcasting, by the way, you can actually run, well, depending on your interface, you can run this into OBS, for example, with, uh, you know, your entire vocal chain. So if you're doing, if you're streaming this, that's going to be helpful. If you're editing later on, you're going to have to edit, uh, obviously way less because you can run through your perfect vocal chain as you record it into OBS. Now OBS does, which we're using right now does indeed host VSTs, but uh, it's not always the most stable, uh, but just as an example, let's go to a new empty gig just so we can, you know, real quick, set something up and see some of the, uh, features. So here we are behind and just click this. So we're behind the rack here. We can add a plugin here. I can right click here, add a plugin. There's a bunch of built-in, uh, sort of, uh, controllers and uh, mixers and things like that as well. Let's go to plugin Alliance. This is the plugin Alliance version that I got with the mega bundle because you know, we talk about the mega bundle a lot here. Uh, it's the absolute best subscription bundle around. And I'm not paid to say that, although I would say it if you would pay me for it, I probably <laughs> would say it, uh, but, it but it actually is uh, the best. So let's, um, let's create, let's use this VH4. It's a really great amp. We'll just grab that. You can see that throws that in here. Let me close that down. So here's our VH4 right here. Let's come up here to options real quick and go to audio setup. So obviously, uh, you're going to have to set this up yourself. You probably don't have the same equipment that I have, uh, but we're using the Personas uh, 1824C. I could use a uh, Complete Audio 6. I could use the uh, the Audient that I have over there on the surface. Uh, use whatever you want. Set up your input and output channels. Set things up however you want. You see we're running at 32 samples right now, which is 0.7 milliseconds. Pretty awesome. You're not going to hear that latency. You could really go up to 128 samples and not hear any, uh, any latency at all. Uh, we have things like global MIDI control. We have recordings. So we can actually record the inputs here and uh, throw those into our DW later to edit. We have set lists. So you can essentially set up your, your intro verse chorus. You can set up different songs and you can also learn that for MIDI. So you can actually change essentially all of your settings or all of your plugins with you know, a click or two. Uh, go to advanced here. We can actually load multiple instances of this on the same computer, which we'll look at uh, in a minute. And of course, you have MIDI control for your virtual instruments and to learn uh, essentially like your macro controls or your panel controls. Uh, we'll look at that in just a second too. All right. But, uh, we already have our audio interface, uh, set up, which you can see right there. So I can draw, uh, you know, pull this in channel one, whatever I'm plugged into channel two, three, four, whatever I happen to have set up I can pull that in here. I can also, let me right click here and let's just say a gain and balance control mono to stereo. That can be helpful. So I'll pull in channel one because it's a guitar and I can pull both of those in here. Now, as an example, what if I want, let's just right click again. Maybe I want some sort of a, uh, let's go for 
our tube screamer right there. We'll add this in. There's our tube screamer right there. We can just patch that in. Let me go ahead and disconnect that. Say our tube screamer is going to be first here. And hopefully you get the idea how this works. That can begin there. And another thing I like, I personally like to put this after the amp most of the time. I like to put a stereo maker on this here. So let's find BX stereo maker right there. You can put it before the amp. Some people like to put it before. I actually like to put it after. I just like the sound it gives me, especially for metal. Pull that in there. And of course, you know, throw in whatever else you want. Uh, let me actually disconnect this here. Uh, disconnect that. Let's go here and let's find maybe some sort of an EQ or maybe a compressor or something that you want. Uh, let's go for, let's just come through here. And let's say we want this SPL iron in there for some reason. I wouldn't actually do this, but just as you can see, you can load anything you want and just chain these things together that quick. Bada bing. And let's go ahead and connect this here. And then we'll connect these to the outputs. And you should start hearing that now. That easy. Pop into your amp. Let me go ahead and turn on my gate so we're not hearing all of that uh, noise. And of course, save this and you can recall it whenever you want. So again, use this for live, use this for band practice, just playing around, you know. If you don't want to take like a big guitar amp with you to band practice, you can just grab, uh, you know, your laptop, small Evo 4 interface, and uh, that's really all you need. Plug up to a pair of speakers, pair of monitors, something like that, of course. And uh, you're good to go with some great sound because, of course, you can use anything, you know, anything you want in here. Now, real quick, let's look at something else we could do. We could uh, come over here to our panel. Let's just click our edit there. And let's just do something real quick, just real, real simple. Let's change the color, make it cool. I could go new panel. I could uh, change the, the, the unit size. But let's just stick with this for now. And let's say we want uh, this metal knob in here. I'm going to change the size. And we'll link this to a plugin. We have all of our plugins that we have loaded in this rack that we can choose from. So we'll just say the diesel VH4, then we can come through here and choose what we want, or we can also learn that parameter. And this is the knob I want right there. And we have it linked to our diesel already. Let's just go ahead and learn the parameter. I'm just gonna turn, say this gain knob. Now you can see those are linked real quick. You can, you can of course come through this list here and add whatever you want, but that's a quick way to uh, do it there. So we have a channel four gain linked right there. You can change the name right here if you want. We'll just leave it to a uh, channel four gain. And let's also grab, let's say some sort of a switch, uh, maybe a toggle switch. That's kind of cool. Put this up here, pull it out. Works for us, grab it. And we can of course link that to the diesel, which uh, let's just leave it to the diesel. And what do you say we have our, have this for our delay to switch on or off. So we'll just go ahead and link that or learn that parameter. and hit the uh, button there and we're good. We are linked, we are learned. And now whenever we switch, turn off edit mode. Now, whenever we switch here, that's gonna turn the delay off or turn the delay on. So that way you're not having to come back behind your rack live, of course, and uh, double click and try to turn this on or off. You can do all of this right from your front panel, either of course, manually, maybe with a touch screen, or of course with MIDI control. So if you have a, a MIDI controller, floorboard, whatever, uh, you can of course hook that up now, I did mention uh, that you could actually run multiple instances. Now, we have to make sure that is set up here in preferences. So preferences, let's go to uh, advanced. Make sure enable multiple instances is turned on. All right. So let's say you are the guitar player. You have remembered your laptop and an audio interface. But of course, the bass player shows up. He doesn't have you know anything at all. He forgets his amp, forgets his laptop, forgets everything because that's what bass players do. No problem. You're the vocalist. You're the guitar player. You have to keep things together, right? Come in here to file. What we'll do is choose create new instance, and we can just give this a name, say stupid bass player or just bass player, whatever you prefer. Okay. And go ahead and create that uh, new instance. So we can actually have multiple instances running on the same exact computer, which makes it even more powerful because now you can give the bass player his own setup over here, and then you can have your own setup over here. And of course you can control things, uh, you know, with MIDI differently, of course. Uh, now, if you did something like this on the same computer, you of course would want to come in here to your audio setup and maybe choose a different audio interface, or at least to make sure you're not using the same inputs because you don't want things uh, going back and forth. So if you have multiple audio interfaces, like I have 
several connected to my computer right now. Uh, maybe I could choose my complete audio six for this instance and use my Personas uh, 1824C on our guitar instance. So you can do that as well. And apply those settings, now we're good. So now our bass player is gonna have his own interface and his own, uh, own gig performer setup. So I'll come in here, let's go to file. And let's go to uh, new gig and we'll just grab bass real quick. Just grab this and say new gig from selection. That's gonna load up uh, one of the presets that uh, Plugin Alliance has already created. And there it is, so a bunch of different presets here. Again, always head behind the rack to see what's going on in here. You can see there's our gain control, which is great for splitting our mono input out to say a stereo output or something. You can see here's our gain, just double click to bring up this uh, gain control right there. Double click to bring up anything. So we have Clean Sweep Pro here. We have a green screamer here. You can see how they're split off here, how everything, uh, this is going into the G8 filter or gate, whatever you want to call it. And then into our four channel, mixer right there, which then goes into Stereo Maker and then down to the amp. Again, some people like to put Stereo Maker first. I actually prefer it after, but that's just a you know personal choice. And again, the cool thing is you can run basically a, you know, a full studio setup. You can have your entire studio sound, whatever you might, you might use in the studio for your guitar or bass. You can have that live and you don't have to buy a special unit. You know, they, they sell, they do sell dedicated DSP units, which they're just computers is all they are. Computers with an IO is all they really are. Uh, so why not use your own computer and your own audio interface and get all the DSP power that you want? Uh, actually more because you can have more in general, uh, more RAM in your computer and, you know, and for cheaper and more uh, uh, CPU power. Uh, so again, you're running through an SBT3 Pro. You're running through, uh, you know, a nice SSL desk here. Here's a gain and balance at the end. And then out, of course, out to the... Uh, uh, output there of, in this case, the complete audio six. You know, one thing I like to do, uh, is disconnect that right click here, plug in Alliance. I like to put a meter at the end just because I like that meter, uh, the BX meter better. Grab it right there. I like to have a meter at the end. It's easier to see. So of course, wire that in as the last thing, bada bing, bada bing. And then you have a nice meter, double click to bring it up, close it out. All right. So now in this case, we have uh, is our bass player's instance running right here, which is separate from our guitar player's instance uh, instance over here. And in this case, we're using two audio interfaces. Again, you don't necessarily have to, but uh, but you can. Maybe we'll go to keyboard and let's say layer splits and effects. We'll just grab this one here, just double click it. So here you can see things are much more complicated. Here's our MIDI filter strings, MIDI filter over here. You can see it's split off. Here's Oberhausen. On this side, we have Thorn on this side here. Just double click that to bring it up right there, as you can see, uh, into a mixer, into the master, and of course, out of the physical outputs. And then different setups right here. It's a multi-mod split. So a bunch of, it's a bunch of presets you can go through, but again, you can always create your own you know, setup again, whether it's for vocals, your synthesizers. Um, if you have the unlocked version, again, something like BFD3, Studio Drummer, uh, Contact, or whatever you want. Set all that stuff up, head in here to things like MIDI inputs, you can use MIDI outputs, MIDI processors, uh, media player, and of course, plugin alliance. And if you have the unlocked version, you can use all, all of your uh, VST. And if you're on Mac AU plugins within uh, Gig Performer and use that live, use it for practice, use it for the times when you just want to play around and you don't want to open a DAW, something like this is much faster, much quicker, much easier to get together. Uh, and you can still use all of your favorite uh, favorite plugins there. That's a good idea, Jim. All right, so we didn't go through everything, but it's pretty simple to figure out, at least the basics. You know, we showed the uh, basics here. There's also, just click this icon right there. So now we have our set list view. So we can have an entire song set up right here, uh, you know, different set lists, uh, all set up and just switch through those things, uh, maybe with MIDI, for example. Uh, switch through all of your plugins. Essentially, it's going to change all of your plugins for you. Uh, however, however you need to uh, have them, uh, you know, change as you change songs, or even as you, ch as you change, you know, different parts of songs. You can have a verse set up, a chorus set up. Uh, there's a tuner built in here too. Uh, by the way, that's something to look forward to. So that is Gig Performer, now part of Plugin Alliance, included. 
with the Plugin Alliance Mega Bundle. And of course, there's the, uh, the unlocked version as well. If you want to use your third party VSTs, use them in band practice, use them live, use them whenever you don't want to use a DAW, uh, but you still want to use some awesome uh, plugins or use it to, when you're podcasting too as well. All right, so that's a quick look at Gig Performer 3 from Plugin Alliance.